Hello everyone, today I want to present to you my new addiction, The Legend of Zelda, Burn Everything! Hi guys, Arabio Between Worlds here. Today I want to talk about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is, without doubt, the most addictive game I've ever played. This game has amazed me with how awesome and great and fantastic it is, so today I want to talk about my experience with Breath of the Wild. So, when I started playing this game, I was super excited. However, in the beginning of the game, I automatically just follow the story a lot and I focused less on exploring so I started walking around the Great Plateau and exploring its areas, hunting, finding weapons and food, practicing combat and completing the shrines. So after I completed the four shrines of the Great Plateau, I obtained the Paraglider, I went to the cliff of the Shrine of Resurrection and from there I jumped off. And I failed. <laughs> No seriously, I was trying to glide to Hyrule Field from there, but that's too far to glide. But it was still awesome. So I left Great Plateau, mounted, and tamed a horse and registered it with the name Apona. So I started riding over Hyrule Field, trying to find more shrines and towers and making my way to Kakariko Village. After Kakariko, I made my way to Hateno Village, pretty much following the storyline. But after doing the blue flame stuff there, I started doing my so-called tower run. I started looking for as many Shika towers as I could. I love expanding my map in Zelda games, so this was a lot of fun. And I could also travel along the different regions and biomes and with a bigger map, I could make plans for when I want to go. So I started exploring, doing more shrines, activating towers and making my way to cool places like the Korok Forest, Death Mountain, Source Domain and Rito Village. There are some side quests which I really enjoyed like Hylian Homeowner and From the Ground Up which are the side quests where you can buy yourself a house and build Terry Town, which is my favourite town in Breath of the Wild and that's probably because of its fantastic music. <laughs> After hiding homeowner, I started doing shrines at the speed of sound because I wanted the master sword and that thing is strong. Usually it doesn't do that much damage like 30 damage, but when you're close to a guardian or inside the divine beast, it gets boosted up and does 60 damage, which is super handy to kill guardians or divine beast bosses. Some days ago I finished the Divine Beast for Ruta and I'm currently focusing on just exploring and traveling across the vast beautiful world. I've reached Divine Beast for Meadow, messed around Hyrule Castle and attempted to fight Ganon. I only beat Windbite Ganon. I looked for memories, did side quests, caught horses, killed guardians with the fantastic combination of ancient arrows and a mighty liner bow, roamed across the land, done some cool Hinox battles and much more. This game is fantastic. So I want to upload far more videos about Breath of the Wild, about my own experience and stories and thoughts about the game, and also about the lore and theories and connections to other games. My last video got over 3000 views which is totally amazing and I hope to see those viewers back in far more Breath of the Wild videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I was King Rome boss for <laughs>